Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flader Mouse. What we have here is a lead deer slug for a 12 gauge shotgun. It is able to fly through the air because of its balance. It's just like a shuttlecock. The front nose of it is real heavy and solid, but the back end is hollow and very light. Now what will happen if we try shooting the slug backwards? It doesn't look like it would work. The balance is completely off. The aerodynamics is horrible. So let's find out. To prepare our shell, we'll take our Mountain Storm shell prepping tool. And I love this thing, and I try to show it off as much as I can and send some business his way. But what it does, it, it removes that crimp out of the center of the shell, but it also leaves the bead behind, that rolled over plastic. Next we'll take some homemade nitro cards and a nitro card is just a fancy term for a disc of cardboard and I just made my own using a 5 8 inch gasket punch and just use some scrap cardboard and the purpose of these is to fill the space in the shot cup because the slugs quite a bit smaller than the original shot load but if we were loading the slugs in there normally it would also give it much better support against the wadding and prevent that plastic wadding from being shoved up into the cavity of the slug. But you can buy these things and it's like 500 of them for $10. But it doesn't make any sense when you can just make your own if you have a 5 8 gasket punch. And now we'll take our Lee key drive slug and load it in backwards. A lot of people wanted to see this. I don't know what it's going to do, but here we go. Yeah. Backwards slug. It's like a Ghostbusters thing. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Will it blow up the gun? Let's find out. Boom. Alright, we're recording on all devices now. Okay. Shoot when ready. Backwards slug. Okay. There you go. Hey, it looked like it went through. And you can see the the little line there. Oh. <laughs> 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 Death. Once again the shot placement was terrible, but that's kind of what you get when you're holding the gun in a really weird way and kind of expecting the gun to possibly blow up. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Wow. <laughs> I think we got some flies that time. Yeah. Alright, let's look at the high speed footage and see what was going on. I blame my lousy aiming abilities on a really high ping and a lot of server lag. But we're mostly focusing on how those slugs are flying through the air. We shot all these through a rifle choke tube, so we did have some spin stabilization. Now if I hadn't seen this with my own eyes, I would never have believed it was possible for a really nose-heavy slug to fly backwards with any sort of stability. I only prepared four of these rounds, and I didn't want to shoot more of these through the shotgun than I had to. It just seemed like a really bad idea to even shoot any slugs backwards through a shotgun. Now naturally there's probably no advantage of shooting a slug or even a pellet out of a pellet rifle backwards, but I've gotten that request so many times from people. It's actually easier to film a, a large 12 gauge slug flying at over 1200 feet per second than a tiny little pellet going at 600 feet per second. So it was really a big surprise to me to see in every shot the slugs flying straight, true, and as stable as if they were flying forward. I want to thank everyone who suggested this idea. I was actually very nervous shooting these things out of a shotgun, so I hope you understand that. Anyway, thank you for watching.